Hello everyone, this is HES Kesky here. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. That stuff is out of the way. I like to keep the intro nice and short. We are back with some more Pokemon, which I have been having so much fun playing. I did not realize that there was so much to do in this game. We haven't even gotten to the first gym yet, and I've already learned that you can make curry. You can do these big like raid battles. You can catch high level Pokemon already. I have a, a like EXP candy for some of my Pokemon, which I haven't even used yet because I don't know who deserves the EXP. XP candy but uh, since my last video all I've done is run around do a couple more Pokemon battles there's still a lot of Pokemon here I want to come back and catch but we should be relatively close to where we left off before I don't think I changed up my team too too much there might be one or two new Pokemon but regardless I'm right about where we left off and let us continue and I don't I I didn't even approach these guys because I don't know if we can talk to them or not so let's find out what would you like to do spin my watts how many watts do I actually have? A dive ball, a somewhat different Pokeball that works especially well when catching Pokemon that live underwater. All right, wishing piece. Throw one into a Pokemon den to attract a wild Dynamax. And then we have all of these abilities here. Like, Earthquake just seems really good. And the uh, power is 100, accuracy is 100. You can use it 10 times. And I don't really know, is it worth getting these moves just yet? I think what I'm going to do is just hold off. Use your snares to target with the grass and trips it. The heavier the target, the greater the move's power. That's kind of funny. It's based on their size. And there's Blizzard for 8,000, which Blizzard sounds pretty awesome. It is an ice move. So I'm going to go ahead and save up some of my Watts. I don't want to I don't want to waste them just yet, but it does seem like you can come back here. You've just taken your first step into the world of camping. Please call me the Camping King. I don't know if I'm going to call you that. I can help you out with all of your camping needs. Remember, everyone starts out as a rookie. If you got any questions about camping, feel free to ask me. I want to change my tent color. Let's see. A color that would be a suit grub hub. Uh, sure. Sure. We're going to base it on grub hub. I've changed your tent to the bug type color. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know how important curry is. I have a feeling it is relatively important just because we're finding so many of the berries and stuff that you need. Find your way through the wild area to reach Modestoke next. Okay, well, I feel like I did go through the wild area. Whoa, this town is, like, huge! The, the scale of towns in this game are honestly pretty cool. And there's an Onyx just hanging out. Well, while we get this epic montage, I'm gonna drink a little. I love me some Red Bull, you guys. Alright, so that definitely looks like a gym to me. And I have no sense of what level my Pokemon should be, because some of them I'm catching are super high level, some are super low level. I honestly couldn't tell you. Let's see what these guys can tell me about the town. This city is just massive. I need to keep checking my town map, otherwise I'll get lost. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, this be Okay, cool. Great. Great catching up, kid. How about you, Mom? And, no, well, no one gave me any free stuff, which I'm kind of bummed out about. And, hey, over here. Oh, there she is. Apparently, my, my crew just kind of follows me around everywhere I go. They are super ride or die, which is pretty great. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trick ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Is that something about to get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all? What does that mean? I've got to be honest, I ran back to the original guy to heal my Pokemon because I don't know... Uh, what? I, di I didn't know when the next place was going to be. Oh, looks like Ronaman's free. What is that? Are a kind of Ronaman information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Husky? Here's a sample for you. I don't really know what playing around with your league card means, but you got Leon's league card. You put the league card in your album. All right, show off your achievements. I'm scratching my head because I don't know what this is. By making a league card, you can customize your card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with all your latest information. Trainers all have their own league cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you connect with using communication features. You can view all of your league cards you've collected by checking out your album, which you can find in the league card option on the X menu. Sure is big. Not to worry, Sony is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon, which I think my Pokemon already healed, and I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really know if I want to modify a league card. I don't know if I have to, but I'm not the most into that. Okay, well, she showed me the Pokemon Center, so that's always nice to have some helpful helpers and oh, wait, wait hold on let me do my pokemon even need help at this point you may be able to see a rare pokemon at wedge her station now okay well i 
I guess we should probably go there. No, all my guys are doing good. And again, I have no sense of what level these guys should be because I caught these guys mostly at level 19. Yamper, I honestly kept because he's so cute and I'm kind of wondering what his evolved form is. And Magikarp, I'm just hoping will evolve into my awesome dragon type Pokemon. Uh, I can't remember if you have to use a stone or if he just does it based on level, but hey, he is coming along for the ride. Welcome to Pokemart, may I help you? I'm here to buy. Heal ball, oh man, there's so many balls now. A somewhat different Pokeball that becomes more effective the lower the level of the wild Pokemon. That is more effective when attempting to catch water or bug type Pokemon, which I don't know that I really want those. A Romano ball that stores HP of a Pokemon caught and eliminates any status conditions. All right, well, these are cool. I feel like I should just get some Pokeballs for now and we're gonna get these ones because they, they sound cool. All right, well, whatever. I did kind of learn that getting money isn't the most difficult thing in this game. So if you got a bottle bee, would you like to trade it for my Squobit? No, I do not want your Squobit. That is literally the easiest Pokemon in this game to catch. That is a sham and you should be embarrassed. You should absolutely be embarrassed. Uh, rate a nickname. Okay, no, 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 we can, we can do that. Alrighty, we are gonna start running around this town. I have no idea where I'm actually going. Okay, this place is actually ridiculously huge. And I gotta say, right before I started this video, I found out, did you guys know if you spin the control stick in the game, your character starts to dance? It's pretty awesome. So brilliant young trainer who's brave the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Motosoke is? I'm here for the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. Is that where we're going right now? Is that where we are going right now? That is what I'm wondering, because I wanna I wanna battle a gym leader. I'm feeling ready. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motosoke Stadium, okay? All right, well, I uh, use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? I I guess we're looking at a lift. Well, later, I'm gonna swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? I like how she's like, I'm gonna show you around town, is literally like, oh, here's the gym, peace, I'm out of here. Didn't really give me the full-on tour. And then look, if you spin around like this, your guy literally does an awesome pose. And I am here for it. Let's try it, let's try doing it the other way. I think he, I think, yeah, I think he does it both ways which is super epic and kind of awesome. And he gets a lot of spins in there. I don't know how he really gets that much momentum going, but he has found a way to have the awesome moves. What is down here? I'm, I'm telling you, I gotta run around and explore this whole place. Okay, this seems suspicious. Is there something in this trash can? You found a Pokeball. Who would just throw away a Pokeball like that? It doesn't make any sense. You gotta throw Pokeballs, throw them over and over until you get your pitching technique sorted. I mean, that's people keep telling me that, but I don't know that I believe that you really have to be throwing it that many times. All right, well, it looks like this is a flower shop. What do we got going on here? We use Pokemon move growth to raise our flowers so they can get rather large. All right, did not realize. Whoa, you can go in like every store. Like, what is this? Is this is this to get my hair done? It definitely looks like it's to get my hair done. Let's talk to this person. Welcome, lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? Uh, hair and makeup. Wait, what can you do? Oh, geez. Uh, let's not have you the chair. Okay, well, I paid for it already, it sounds like. What kind of look did you want today? Normal eyebrows, thick eyebrows, thin eyebrows. I feel like in real life I have, like, I'm looking at the camera, either. We're just gonna go with thick, just for fun. And then this is gonna be, okay, my eyebrow color, let's see, they're, they're kind of more of a, a darkish blonde. Okay, well, I think we're gonna try and match it as best we can. I'm just gonna go with the dark brown. And then the eyes, I like how she can change my eye color. Am I more of a gray or a pale blue? Ooh, we're gonna go gray for now. All right, so there we go. We got new eyes and apparently new brows, which I feel kind of looks like me a little bit. Are the brow colors a little more similar? All right, well, we are gonna take it. And I do wanna see, uh, okay, well, I think I reprinted that. I wanna see hair. This is money well spent, $3,000 on hair. And let me see what options we've got. Do we have anything that is similar to what I actually have in real life? So far, none of these are even close. Oh, geez, are these the only the only hairstyles? That kind of is a little bit, I guess. What I have actually, that's kind of what I have going on today. Normally, I have my hair sticking up a little bit more, which they don't really give me the option for. So I well, they're calling it an undercut, which is kind of what I actually do have. So we are going to do this. Yes. Give me that new haircut. We gotta, we gotta spruce up this hair just a little bit. All right, you know what, I'll take it. Try, I think I'm spinning the wrong way. 
All done. All right. Uh, would you like to put your hat back on? Uh, no, let's leave our hat off. I don't want to put it on right now. We really got to show off this new hairstyle. All right. Well, I've gotten a new hairstyle. I've gotten new eye color, essentially. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the clothes store. Do you guys think they have that same shirt that I wanted to buy before? Because I definitely have enough to buy it now. All right. Let's see what you guys got. Oh, these are all completely different, I think. All right, well, I'm just gonna do a little bit of shopping here really quick. Okay, those shades are pretty... It says iconic style. I mean, what what is not iconic about those? I mean, look at how cool I look. I mean, I'm, I'm a total winner with these. We are, we are buying these 100%. All right, well, we got the sweet glasses. How could you even go wrong with these? Okay, we have got to get the plaid trousers. This is an absolute must. We got to get the matching bag. I mean, that's the only, the only true option here. And then I'm almost completely out of money. Yes, I would like to put this on immediately. Okay, well, we might as well finish the outfit and spend all of our money. This, I can't even afford this one. We are going to hold off on a hoodie for now and just, my guy's like, yeah, I look so cool. Uh, my character looking a whole lot different than he did just moments ago, but he is feeling pretty darn fly and he will stand out. That is for sure. Man, we got even more stores over here. I feel like this whole video is just uh, going to the store. This looks like this is a music. All right, well, oh, you obtained a set of high-tech earbuds. Okay, you put these in high-tech earbuds in your bag's key item pocket. Strange earbuds that allow you to freely control the volume of various sounds. Do you know what's so high-tech with high-tech earbuds? When you put them in your ears, they actually let you control the sound of your surroundings. You can even make them stop specific sounds like Pokemon cries. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to spend the time reading, but let's spend the time going to the gym with my super awesome outfit. Oh snap, I, I took a break to take a drink, and all of a sudden, it's Leon. I'm surely you'd never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Husky, all right? He's like, uh, what happened to your outfit? What look tells me you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you? I mean, check out my clothes, guys. How could he not say that? And yes, I recommend you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. You obtained a Mystic Water. An item to be held by a Pokemon. This teardrop-shaped gem boosts the power of Water-type moves. Well, what a quinky dink. I have a Water-type Pokemon. You can take that lift up the sea's upper level if you're headed for the stadium next. Oh, am I? Am I headed to the stadium? They don't even know. This outfit alone is going to kill them. Okay, so if I go to my bag and then... Oh, geez. They give you so many items in this game. It's actually crazy. So it's not a key. It's not this stuff. There's all my Pokeballs. Poke doll. And here's all the berries. Like, how many items are in this game? It's actually kind of crazy. Now, here is the EXP candy, which I kind of want to start using on my Pokemon. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to see how the battle with the gym leader goes. And then if I need this stuff, I'll use it to level up my Pokemon. So let's give it to good old Blueberry. And then here's all the uh, abilities I have, which I should probably start teaching people. Although most of these, my Pokemon can't even learn. <laughs> uh, and then here's all the other stuff here, which I think you just sell some of this stuff. Anyways, this game has so many items, it is quite difficult to keep track of everything. But that is okay. Let's ride this elevator. Whoa, that was really fast. I don't know the physics of that, but I feel like I would fly off of there. What is this guy doing? Oh, geez. How is my buddy always just one step ahead of me? That is the real question. You made it to Motosoke Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be, everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. And my mom, your mom. Oh, he went, he went there. Your mom? The whole world! It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Husky, it's time the world learned our names! I don't think anyone is learning your name, Hop. I do not think anyone is indeed learning your name. Whoa, what's going on here? We League staff are here to provide support for various matches that occur throughout the gym challenge! Alright, well, thanks for that helpful tip. We have entered our very first gym, which I am pretty darn excited about. Would you take a look at this? This place is packed with gym challenges. Every one of these folks is another rival. Let's get signed up. All right, well, I guess we better go get signed up indeed. Now, this is a person who has good taste in color of clothes. Okay, with the hair flip and everything, she's out of here. Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're her, if, if, 
Okay, wait, this guy's kind of bro -y, but kind of like, he seems like he's a pretty cool guy. So, if you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. And I'm like, I'm so cool. I could not be cooler. Fancy that. This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by a champion. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, now you've two. You've had two because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. Leon, Leon. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and I'm the next champion. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, well, yes, I'm trying to. If you'll just, 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 just give me a moment. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform. If you'd be so kind, it will be displayed on the back of the uniform. You must wear for any official match. Uh, okay, so you can have three numbers. Hmm. You know what? I feel like Hawaii could use a little bit of love right now, so we are going to go with 808. Number 808, very well. And here, please wear this challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked a room at the nearby Badoo Drop-In. That's the league chairman for you, even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. Uh, I am the fancy digs, TBQH. All right, so I'm gonna try and run around and see exactly what I'm supposed to do here. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do or who I'm supposed to talk to. Well, I can't go through there. I can't go through here. I feel like I'm supposed to uh, go to the hotel, maybe? I mean, that definitely... Here's this person. I was endorsed by Chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite elite endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? It's positively criminal of you, wasting the time with someone as important as I am. Well, you know what? At least they know what they want in life. So I guess I'm gonna look for the hotel. It did say it was nearby. Ah, who's this? You must be Challenger Husky. The Badoo Drop-In is down this way if you'd be so kind as to follow me. All right, well, I'm gonna follow him to the hotel room. Where did he go? He disappeared. This guy must be sprinting to the hotel. I'm sure he's gonna be right up here though. There he is. Challenger Husky, we have arrived at the Badoo Drop-In. I love how he's got his Pokeballs on his side. That is pretty epic. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Well, I'm kind of excited. This is the most hyped up gym battle uh, of any of the Pokemon games I've ever played. And this is just the first gym. Normally there are many, many gyms. So I'm assuming that indeed there are. Talk about an awesome hotel. There is a huge statue of a guy with an epic sword. Oh yeah, it looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey Sonya, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering world. I reckon if I took some into Galar's Legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. I honestly just want to try a gym battle. Like, I've been hyping myself up on this gym battle after I've seen how epic it is, and it is what I want. What's this then? This is the statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Uh, the short version. We'll take the short version long ago. Land was sold by a gigantic Pokemon, bearing a sword and shield. Statue was meant to pick the young hero of that legend. All right, well, that was quite the story. Huh, I suppose that hero must have been about as uh, strong as us, Lee, then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty to research, though, Sonia. Black storms and swords and shields and all. You'll be all right, Sonia. Will you be all right, Sonia? You know what? I'm going to give her a boost of confidence and tell her you got this. Thanks, I'm all thrilled somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? I suppose that we should. I gotta say, I'm someone who's gone to a lot of conventions in my life, and this is exactly what it feels like. It's like, check in at the convention, check in at the hotel, meet up with your friends in the lobby, talk about the giant statue in the lobby, you know, everything pretty much checks in. Uh, can I just skip the line, please? Uh, I, wait, wait, tell her I'm here to help after all, you're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I'm up for that. Are we, are we battling in the lobby? And why are there four of them? Wait, what is happening? Also, can I get cool digs and cool looks like this? Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell is all about helping, helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper, and now you're going to help us make some noise. What is going on? Why are we fighting in the lobby? Uh, Team Yell Grunt sent out Ziggaz... Zigzagoon, which is absolutely adorable. Uh, Grubhub is here to deliver our delicious food. His guy's only level 9, so I'm feeling pretty confident. 
Um, let's see. Bug bite, vice grip, bite. You know what? Let's just let's just slap it with some mud. Why not? Let's see what happens. I actually don't know if it's gonna be super effective or not. But it looks like it it worked okay. His accuracy fell. Use lick. That dog raccoon squirrel thing has a huge tongue. Let's be completely honest. Let's try bug bite. I love just using all these different abilities because it's so fun. And we bit him. He is out of here. Apparently it was super effective, so I am a fan of that. And that was super easy. You defeated team... Oh. Is that it? That one guy had one level 9 thing and that's it? If you break here, TV, I'll get revenge for you, would you? Or am I going to battle all four of these people? I do like how they cheer each other on, though. That is that is kind of cute. Although, I do feel a little uncomfortable battling in the lobby of a hotel. I don't know that I would recommend doing this whatsoever. You know what? Grubhub's just got to crush all these fools because we are here for Grubhub. And we love Grubhub completely. And this is super effective as well. So, if, if, if Bug Bite is what's going to carry us through this, I will gladly take it. I mean, that is just completely rocking their Pokemon so far. And did this person only have one Pokemon as well? You know, if you're going to talk a big talk and you're going to come to a gym to, to really throw down, maybe bring more than one Pokemon. Just kind of a pro tip. But, uh, what's going on? Seeing some Pokemon battles without me. Don't you think you can get ahead of me that easily? I need to get some training in. So I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. Look, look, Grubhub does not need to be healed. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now, let's have us a nice two-on-two. -two. Oh, we got some two-on-two -two going on. You know what, guys? Cheers to that. All right, here we go. These guys kind of look like they're from Mad Max. I hope you can customize your character this much, though. They look seriously awesome. So this is going to be my first 2v2 in the game. I'm kind of excited. They each only have one Pokemon, and they're bringing out the same Pokemon that I completely slapped around the first time. So, I am not too worried. I love how he brings that sheep Pokemon with him wherever he goes. Oh, good old Wooloo. So, we are going to fight. We are going to do the Bug Bite. And... I wonder why it lets you target Wooloo with the attack. Well, regardless, I don't really think it matters which one. They're both level 9. So, we'll go for the Zigzagoon. Alright, well, he thinks he's so cool with his quick attack. But guess what? You're getting bit in the face with a bug bite. You now have a rash, and it's going to take a cream to heal. So you get out of here, buddy. And now it is two on one. Yeah, Magikarp level 11 coming in big. I, was, I feel like I want to keep Magikarp in my in my team forever, even though he's a water-type Pokemon, which makes me so sad. That is the one thing that I'm sad about because I want to keep him around forever, but I don't think that that's going to quite happen. I just can't get over how cool my character looks. It was worth every penny that I spent making him look that cool. All right, first 2v2, a wild success. And that is easy, breezy, beautiful. And Yamper, level 13, loving it. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. Yeah, thanks for that money, y'all. That was great. Guess it was the feet that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? I feel like, why are we all excited about Marnie? Nothing, nothing, we just, I know y'all terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. Who is this girl? Sorry about them, they're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let all go their heads a bit. All right, well apparently this girl has fans. She also has really cool boots. Come on, you lot, back home with you now. All right, so they're, at, now they cut, kind of, another group cut in line. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that, they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challengers. I don't know what getting shirty means. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So, you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell, was it pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own? Man, this guy wants so desperately to have fans and to be known around the world. Alright, well now I can finally get checked in. Entering the gym challenge, yep. That is me. I see, yes, Young Master Husky. Apparently I have an, an awesome title already. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. All right, so do I get to go to the room or am I actually just like falling asleep and then back in the lobby? It remains to be seen. All right, looks like I'm back in the lobby. The next morning, he's, he's still working on his throw. Now my legend really begins. 
Watch out, Husky, I'll beat you to Motosuke Stadium. Why does he want to run everywhere? Every second of every day, this guy's ready to go. Do you guys have any friends like that who are just like, they, they have the energy of a thousand suns and you're just like, how? How do you have this much energy? Here's my new best friend, by the way. All right, well, this person thinks they are going to be the one to win, but little do they know, my legend's just beginning. Uh, starting soon, please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. All right, let's go, buddy. All right, follow close and be careful not to lose sight of me. I am so ready for this opening ceremony. I mean, they are like escorting me. They're giving me a room. They're like letting me sleep and just get myself rested. They're letting me battle in the lobby. We must ask the gym challengers wear their uniforms for all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right, I'll need you to get changed as well. All right, well, I got my cool new outfit. I thought I was gonna change in front of everyone. I'm like, I'll battle Pokemon in the lobby. I'll also change in the lobby, make everyone uncomfortable. Oh, snap. I look like I'm ready for a soccer game and we are number 808. We are ready to go, baby. You look sharp as a pin and that 808 there, that really is the number for you. Now you're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. All right, it is time for the ceremony. Oh snap, it is the same exact guy from before. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I'm trying to make him sound epic, you guys, because his mustache deserves something this epic. And everyone watching from home have all been, oh, I missed what he said. It is my pleasure to announce that finally the Galar region gym, I can't read that fast, he's talking so fast. Yes, the gym challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now, I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves with his awesome pose. All right, well, how many gym leaders? Well, there, well there's gym leaders and then are they gonna show all the contestants? Cause there was a lot of contestants. And I don't know if I get to battle all those guys. Oh snap, here they are. We walk in slow motion. They look super epic. The fighting farmer, here's the grass type expert, Milo. The raging wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire, here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu. The silent boy of mystery, Alistair, friend to ghost types. Ghost type's pretty legit. The master of a fantastic theater, it's the charming fairy type user, Opal. The ice cold professional, please welcome the ice type master, Melanie. And last but not least, the tamer of dragons, it's Rehan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own. Their outfits are on point. Again, I'm hoping that I can dress half as cool as they do someday. Oh snap, is this me? How cool do I look with my big old shoes? Wait, does the battle just start now? What is going on? I honestly have no idea what to expect. No idea whatsoever what to expect. I kind of want to get cool shades like that in real life just so I can look like my character. Standing there on the pitch, in the stadium, in front of everyone, there's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You've made it last, Hop, and you too, Husky. So, you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know? Hashtag not sponsored. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the whole Galar region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend you, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to you both. All right, well, his 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 mustache is quite epic, so he can, he can come and go as he pleases. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You've both only just started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Let's do it, Husky. You know the gym challenge has a set of order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? The first is in tur Turfield, and to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Oh my gosh, I don't even get to get to the gym yet. 
That is crazy. They are really delaying this first gym. The gym challenge is an event in which aspiring trainers travel around the Gallo region to try and collect gym badges from eight of its gyms. To earn a gym badge, you have to complete that gym's mission and also defeat its gym leader. Okay, well, I thought there was going to be some awesome Pokemon battles, but apparently we have got to go to Route 3, pass through Route 3 and beyond in order to reach Turf Field next. All right, well, that is what I'm going to try and do is figure out how to get out of this town as we deliver this gift to you. Man, they're just handing me all sorts of swag. A gift such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. Excuse me, the gift is access to the flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. Flying taxis? If you use a flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corvic Corvi Knight will have you zipping across the Gallo region to your desired destination in no time at all. Just open up the X menu and use the town map to choose where you want to go. It's all right with you. I'll read a segment from the Flying Taxi user manual. Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield. Isn't that right, Husky? When traveling to a new place, it's best to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? All right, well, apparently this game has flying taxis, uh, which is awesome. Super, super cool. And I feel like we're, we should be good in this town, right? So I'm going to figure out how to get out of this town. I honestly have no idea. They didn't quite make that specifically clear, but I guess we'll just see which way I'm supposed to go. I mean, this town is actually quite giant. It's over here. Can I go in here? Let's see what it is. I actually have no idea what this store is. Is this like a cafe? This is awesome. The Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? Uh, yeah, for free food? Yes, I will battle once a day. You're challenged by Cafe Master Dwight. He looks like quite the Cafe Master. All right, well, he's sending out Combi, which is a bug-type Pokemon, I'm assuming, because it quite looks like a bug, and I also have a bug. I don't honestly remember what's great against bug-types, so we're, we're just gonna try Mud Slap. I love slapping things with mud, seeing what happens. Wait, it didn't affect it. Okay, well, that was not a good call. Not a good call at all. I guess we'll just try Bite. I'm just curious if any of these things are going to do that much damage. Okay, that was great. He flinched and couldn't move. So you know what, if that's if that's what's gonna happen, we're just gonna bite him again. Whoopow. All right, well apparently I get free food for this, as well as I'm sure experience. Yeah! Aha, uh -huh. I hope that battle was delicate sweet taste for you. All right, we got $800 for winning. And do I get a free item? That was about as deep as some Kamoa coffee. Here is the treat I promised. You obtained a strawberry sweet. When a milsery holds this, it will spin around happily. All right, well, I don't quite know what any of that means, but I guess spinning around happy is a good thing. Do I go this way? I haven't actually gone this way yet. So I suppose we can see what's over here. Check it out, see if it's cool. Can I even go in here? Sure can, because you can basically go in every building in this game. All right, what is this place? Welcome to the uniform shop. Are you looking for anything in particular? Oh, snap, you can also buy uniforms? Why did I not know all the possibilities when I said I want customization? Did not realize this part of it. I can't afford any of these uniforms though, so... So I guess I'll just keep running over here. It looks like there is another elevator, which I will take in just a second. Yeah, I guess I guess this is where we're headed. Man, I'm, tr I, I'm just trying to imagine the physics of this elevator in real life. I feel like when it swings around, Maybe the centrifugal force would keep you on, but I also feel like you would just fly off if you weren't really paying attention. Maybe that's just me, though. There's so many people in this game to actually talk to, which is kind of awesome. So is this the train station? What's what's happening here? Okay, this is a million different a million different people to talk to. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, he didn't really have much to offer me. This is the Marco Cosmos Rail customer service counter. Okay, good to know. Trains keep running on the rails. Some people say living life without going off the rails is boring, but I think keeping things on track deserves more credit too. All right, that was very deep. Welcome to the Poke Mart. May I help you? All right, let's see what this guy actually has. No one else is actually selling me anything. Okay, I do feel like I need a revive, even though I don't have that much money. And I'm gonna buy a couple more Pokeballs. I don't know if these get upgraded soon, but you know what? I figure if you have money, you might as well spend it. Wait, wait, actually, can I sell stuff? So I think this is the stuff that you can just sell. So I'm just gonna quickly sell all of this. And it actually looks like they're giving me quite a, okay, my money is rolling in at this point. I'm hoping that you're supposed to be selling this stuff and not keeping it, but hey, if if they wanna give me money, wait, how, no, can I sell all these please all at once? I'm like doing it one at a time. There we go, big nugget. Oh, 
50,000. Oh, we got money now. We have got the money. Can we use these? You can get a soda pop, a lemonade, nothing. Okay, we're just gonna get nothing for now. And then which station do you want to go to? We're just gonna we're just gonna hold off on that and then try and figure out how to get out of this town. I honestly have no idea. So the train station, not the answer. We're just gonna keep running around this town and seeing what we can see. God, there's so much stuff to do here. Here's a Pokeball. I will gladly take this. A silk scarf, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a sumptuous scarf that boosts the power of normal type moves. So I will definitely be putting this scarf onto somebody. All right, let's give this to... Who wants a scarf? Who wants a scarf? Let's give it to Grubhub. He's been, he's been treating me quite well lately. How many buildings can you go in in this game? I feel like it never actually ends. Is this where the stadium is? Yeah, that's the stadium. Okay. So we are back up top. Apparently this is all connected to begin with. I think that's the hotel. And then what is this building over here? Can we even go in this one? Nope, can't go in that one. And that one's to heal your Pokemon. And there's my buddy Hop. Oh, good old Hop. Always waiting for me. There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me. We'll get into a bit of training. I love how one of the options is like, but why? Why hop? Why must we always be training? All you do is train, and all I do is beat you every single time. All right, what do you got for me, hop? I feel like it's the same Pokemon over and over, and he keeps getting the same results over and over. Wulu is level 11, so I'm just gonna bug bite him. That's been treating me well so far. Almost one shot him, that's good enough for me. All right, well, let's just try Bite, see if it's enough to knock him out, so I'm not using up my better one. Wait, what do you do? Did you just use a potion? Okay, well, I should have done the other one, probably, because that probably would have still killed him. Did not expect him to actually use a potion, but you know what? We'll try Bite again. He's he's going in super try-hard mode, though. He's, like, using potions and buffs and all sorts of stuff, and I'm like, dude, you're not going to win. You're not going to win. Bye, Wulu. I'm sorry that I beat you for the hundredth time. I do feel bad about that. Hop is about to send out Score Bunny. Yes, I will switch Pokemon because there's nothing that gets me more excited than beating his Score Bunny with my Blueberry. And he's got this little item that's making him better with water moves. So this should be this should be a pretty darn quick. So he's level 14. I'm level 15, so I'm not too far off. I guess we'll do this one. All right, we well got your little quick attack in. We will give you that. We will give you that, but I'm going to Water Pulse you all sorts of ways, and you're going to get one shot because it's super effective. I like how he's so surprised I've mastered this type, even though it's been the same battle every single time. It's all right. All right, who's he sending out next? Who is his new Pokemon? Oh, looks like Blueberry leveled up. It's always nice. He's about to send out Rookity, that good old bird Pokemon, and I think isn't... Is Lightning effective against Rookity? That's the bird, right? We'll see. We'll see. My guy's not super high level, but we'll see if he can hold his own. And he's just so darn cute. I mean, he's like the cutest little corgi I think I've ever seen. Back to the corner. You got it all wrong, mate. This will just make my victory all the better. I I mean, unless your Rookity is level 100. Can you imagine he throws out a level 100 Rookity? That would be so great. All right. Well, I think, yeah, the lightning attack should be quite good here. No, don't peck my, my poor little corgi. Why would you do that? Well, it's not very effective, so... He jumps around all happy. It is super effective, but my guy also seems like uh, he's not doing the most damage. Um, I'll just keep I'll just keep doing this one. Might as well. <laughs> I just love the jumping up and down. It's so cute. All right, well, one more of those, and that should be the end of his bird. I kind of miss my bird already, to be completely honest. It says I don't want to give up my magic card because he's so fun, but I feel like I'm gonna have to. It is super effective. All right, anybody gonna level up off of that? No, not today. Ah, oh, wow, is that really good training? Looks like I better keep my guard up. How about have more than three Pokemon? That would be, that would probably be my pro tip of the day. Oh wait, oh my gosh, is it happening? Is it happening? Blueberries evolving and we're here for it. Yeah! Oh, he's got his little emo hair now. Congratulations, your blueberry evolved into Drizzile. All right, what's this data? Highly intelligent, but also very lazy. Uh, like me, obviously. <laughs> it keeps enemies out of its territory by laying traps everywhere. All right, well, apparently he's super smart, but super lazy as well. Just what I expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my league cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. You got a Hops league card. Cool, man. 
Put the lead card in your album. Our gym challenge starts right now from here in Monosaki, although the diverse gym leader will have to challenge us on a town way far off from here. Still, you better believe I'm going to keep on winning my way to that championship match. Hello, Galar, making your champion. Okay, well, he's still got the enthusiasm, even though he loses every single battle, it seems like. We'll go ahead and heal up our Pokemon and then set forth on our way. There you go. She's going to put him on the little device and he goes, do, 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 do. Oh, it even shows the Pokemon. That's kind of cool. All right, well, those are feeling pretty cool. Hope to see you again. By the way, we'll see a rare Pokemon at Wedgehurst Station now. They keep telling me about this Wedgehurst Station, so I'm just going to go try and check it out really quick. I got to go back to the train station, which is down below. And I wonder if that's a Pokemon you can catch or if it's just going to have you looking at it. Found another Poke Doll. Man, those little sparkles are kind of difficult to see. I have a feeling I'm going to be running past them all the time. And I'm like just looking out for them every second. Usually the items aren't... Wait, no, 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 that's the train station. It's not down below. I've made a huge mistake. Let's go back up to the top here. Hey, I'm still learning the town, okay? Even the NPCs were kind of like, uh, I get lost in this town all the time. So let's try going to Wedgehurst Station and see this rare Pokemon everybody's talking about. I would like to go to Wedgehurst Station. I guess I could... Can I take this flying taxi or something? Or do I have to be out in the wild for that? And here we are. Let's see this supposed rare Pokemon. Those with the Amar Pass, please board the train. Alright, where is this Pokemon? Um, no, no, no. I'm like sitting down waiting for this Pokemon. Like, is this person the one with the Pokemon? Do you have an Amar Pass? Naturally, I have made all the proper preparations, which you can observe with unclouded eyes. Please allow me to check your pass. I mean, he's got a pretty cool hat. I will, I will definitely say that. Oh, snap. It's a Slowpoke. Everybody loves a Slowpoke. Mm, this Slowpoke such name is simply elegant. Oh, it looks like another one's gotten on the train and ridden over from the Isle of Armor. Do I get a battle this Pokemon? <laughs> oh, he's so slow and so cute. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? If Slowpoke blocks the ticket gate, it'll cause trouble for other customers. Slowpoke are actually pretty heavy, so do you think you could catch it for me? Yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, I guess I could, I could, I could take a Slowpoke. He's so cute. Why is he so cute? You encounter a wild slowpoke. Go on, Grubhub. I know you can do it. All right. Well, let's see. Bug Bite is super effective. I just don't know if it's going to one-shot him. Uh, I'm going to try this one because I think it's a little less attack power. Hopefully, I don't one-shot him. Uh, okay. Well, that's a little more than half there. Oh, man. He's barfing acid on me. Not cool. All right, well, I'll try Mudslide. This gets effective, not super effective. I don't want to knock this guy out. Okay, I think one more mud slap should get him. And it makes his accuracy lower. He's barfing on me. <laughs> oh, man, he had a rough night, that's for sure. Critical hit. Yeah, here, Slowpoke. All right, we're just going to mud slap him again. All right, well, hopefully that's low enough for a Pokeball. No, don't confuse my Pokemon. Did he become confused? No, he didn't. Okay, so let's try a device for catching wild Pokemon. Yes, that is what I want to use. Hopefully this is enough to catch him. My guy's so thrilled as to what's going on. And, and, we got a slow poke. Love it. I also love how you get experience points even if you catch them. That makes me quite happy. Uh, let me know down below what should I name my Slowpoke. I'll come back one of these days and rename all of them. And where do you want the Slowpoke? Should I add it to my party? I kind of want to just so we can hang out. And I'm realizing with this, my Magikarp, I already have a Water-type Pokemon. So we're just going to swap them out for now. And we will learn a little bit more about Slowpoke right about now. Thanks so much. blah de blah Hmm, how interesting. I must say your catching style was quite simply elegant. We apologize for the way we have checked your our pass. All right, uh, please be aware there will be a connection along the way. Understood. All right, everyone's getting along here, which makes me quite happy. I'm heading to the island called the Isle of Armor. First place where one can catch rare Pokemon and do lots of training. Perhaps we should meet again sometime. Well, please excuse me. I have a feeling I'm going to meet them a little more higher level. Their outfits are way too cool to not be that. All right, well, that does it for this episode of playing Pokemon. It has been so much fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Again, I've been reading through all your comments. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. It's been absolutely overwhelming, and this has honestly just been fun in general. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.